tonight and a happy 50th to Erie. And a great congratulations to all of you, uh, both working at Erie today and those who have contributed to Erie's great success over the last five decades. It's been a tremendous run of achievement and accomplishment and fellowship. I think it's just an outstanding way for us to complete a week of uh, shared experiences, homecoming, reflections, and looking forward to all get together as one great family and share a Boodle's lunch. Now we did some research on what a Boodle lunch actually means. Now you all know, and, and uh, Bita has given you very strict instructions that you all start eating at the same time. Now the reason for that is that the Boodle lunch is something that was developed, it's a military term, and there's two things that, that those of us who've been associated with the, the military know about, about food. Number one, there's never enough of it. And number two, your buddies will try to grab the food before you do. So that's why you start at the same time and you're supposed to eat as fast as you can. <laughs> but I won't, I won't micromanage. You all can figure out how to, to eat uh, on your own, I'm sure. And those who are skinny will probably stay skinny and those who are a little bit heavier have figured out some secrets to success already. Uh, so I won't need to micromanage your, your lunch. Now one thing I do, uh, we, we thought we would take a, 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 this lunch uh, as a great opportunity. Uh, 25 years ago, coincidentally enough, Erie celebrated its 25th anniversary. And part of that uh, celebration was to recognize progressive farmers uh, around Asia. We're very fortunate to have with us today uh, Mr. Uh, Serapio San Felipe, his friends know him as, uh, as Mario. And Mario is a rice farmer here uh, in nearby Rizal, and he was one of the very first farmers to adopt uh, IR8. He uh, was a progressive farmer who was open to, to modern technology. I'd like to invite Mario to come forward here. Let's give him a big hand. Welcome back to Erie. Uh, Mario and his wife uh, Melba, who unfortunately passed away in, in 2002, raised their and supported their family of six children on a 3.8 hectare farm right here in Laguna de Bay. He's always been on the cutting edge of agriculture. He's a man who understood that to progress and to get ahead and to, and to support his family well, you had to adopt and embrace new technologies. Uh, as I said, he was the first adopter of IR8, and like so many people who take on a new technology, he was looked at by his neighbors somewhat as a, as, as a uh, I don't know, crazy is the word, but they looked and said, this won't ever produce a good yield, but when he produced his, his, uh, his first crop of IR8, as I understand it, all your neighbors wanted it as seed. And so that is, uh, I think, something that's... Um, that, that we, we've seen happen time and time again. The flood tolerant rice that's now moving across uh, South, and th Southeast, East, South and Southeast Asia has been greeted in exactly the same way. But any modern technology that truly benefits farmers will be taken up by progressive farmers like, like Mario. And uh, we've invited Mario here not only to recognize his great contributions, but also as a representative of all of the millions of progressive farmers around Asia that Erie has worked with over the past five decades. And it's people like Mario who really exemplify all that is strong and, and resilient about rice production, rice uh, farmers, and rice systems. So I would like to, to once again thank Mario for his contributions to, to the future of, of the rice producing world for the rice producers and the rice consumers. Now for those of you who would like to know more about him, we have on page 27 of Rice Today an article that features Mario and his contributions. And those who haven't got, uh, alumni who have not yet received their complimentary copy, we have some extra copies right here. So let's all give Mario another big round of applause and recognize his great contribution. Okay, thank you very much. Okay. All right. Let's uh, now. I know the.